All right. So good afternoon, everyone, and I'm happy to see you all today. And thank you, guys, for allotting time during your week to attend an Ace Commerce Philippines event. And I hope everyone's excited because we will be starting our webinar in a few minutes. So before that, I would also like to invite you all to this paid workshop about a comprehensive and in-depth discussion on how to build a business from the ground up. So build your own business is a workshop for aspiring and startup entrepreneurs who want to gain a deeper understanding of how businesses work in today's ecosystem. So the early bird rate is, five and is 500 pesos for those tickets purchased between February 11 to February 25, while the regular price is 750 pesos. So don't miss out, guys, on learning how to be a better business owner and join our workshop, especially made for entrepreneurs. So if you want to sign up, just go to our website, acecommerce.org, and more information about this paid workshop will also be provided later on. So anyway, I hope everyone will be participative and enthusiastic on our live chat below. So we have our tech team monitoring the chat for any questions or concerns you might have. So the event will start in a few minutes. Thank you. So hi again, everyone, and welcome to this week's Ace Commerce event. Right. So hi again, everyone, and welcome to this week's Ace Commerce event, and thank you for joining us for today's exciting webinar. So my name is Patrice, and I'm a community associate of Ace Commerce Philippines, a cross-border entrepreneur learning community. 
So before I call on our speaker for today's webinar, let me introduce you guys to what Ace Commerce is. So Amazing Cross-Border Entrepreneur Commerce or Ace Commerce is a global entrepreneur community that started in Indonesia. So Ace Commerce is for anyone interested in learning about building successful cross-border commerce by exploring opportunities in a wide range of commerce as well as having amazing insights and guidance from awesome founders and entrepreneurs. We also strive to bring in amazing founders, mentors, and entrepreneurs to talk to our community of aspiring successful entrepreneurs, and we strive to, pro to provide the best online resources and content to our community to help them towards entrepreneurial success. So if you want to learn more about entrepreneurship and get updated for upcoming events, please like our Facebook page. And in order to connect with fellow entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs, you can join our Telegram group so you can network and ask advice from the community. So lastly, I'd like to go over a few items for those who would want to have their e-certificates. So our participants must fill out the evaluation form during the end of the webinar. So the link will be given at the end of the talk and will be open until 11.59 p.m only today so you must send a proof of attendance at this webinar it can just be a screenshot of this live and also a proof of your membership at our website so it can also be a screenshot of your account on ace commerce website so in case some of you guys are not a member yet then here's how you can sign up Alright, I hope everyone here is already a member, but if you're not, you can just sign up at our website after this webinar. So anyways, that's all from me because I know everyone is eager to meet our speaker. So let me introduce our key speaker for the day. So our speaker for today is Ms. Patricia De La Cruz, the Senior Marketing Analyst of Shopee. So this webinar is perfect for anyone who is interested in marketing, especially to those who are venturing out and establishing their business in Shopee. So everyone, let us all welcome and give a round of applause to Ms. Patricia De La Cruz. Hi, Ms. Patricia. Hi. Hi, wait. Let me share my screen. So can you guys see my screen? Yes, Miss. We can see your hi. screen. So hi, everyone. So I'm overwhelmed and nervous because I'm um, like I can see the numbers of our audience. Um, I can see ko ilan yung audience natin. But thank you, um, for attending this talk. I don't know if it's required or what, but I'll try my best to make this um very like um productive, informative. Like I'll share. I'll try to share all my learnings for like almost two years working with Shopee, and also not just uh, as their employee, but one of their user also somehow a part seller of um Shopee. So just a short introduction. About about myself, so I've seen your comment that um your the, the comments that most of you are marketing students. So I'm also a marketing major from Miram College, and then took up my masters in business administration right after my college um right after um I graduated college, and then during that time I was also able to work with Shell Business Operation for um while finishing up my MBA, and then during that time my manager is nice enough um like we're close because like parang friends, so um he told me na parang I don't uh she um he can see me like working that long with Shell because I don't want what I'm doing because I'm a finance associate. So during that time, I'm really lost because I tried to take like the fear of looking for a job by enrolling myself sa MBA. Pero after MBA, ganun pa din. Like, I'm still lost. I don't know what to do. I don't know what job I want. And then I remember my childhood dream was to become a flight attendant. And then I told myself, why not just follow my childhood dream to become a flight attendant muna while figuring out what I really want in life. But then pandemic happens and then I got retrenched. So I was only able to fly with Cebu Pacific for three months. And then after that, 
um back na naman sa struggle na I don't know what to do but this time mas mahirap kasi I'm um like locked down so wala masyado nag-hire but um luckily um Shopee is hiring during that time and na-hire ako so literal na pasabi ako salamat Shopee kasi um like I don't know like I can't imagine myself working fine other companies kasi right now um Shopee talaga is very timely So with that, um, let's discuss more about Shopee. So, so, uh, so Shopee was launched last 2015 in different um seven um in seven different markets in the region. So it's in Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Taiwan, Vietnam, and here in the Philippines. And what made them different, kasi to other um e-commerce platform, is that um they launches their Shopee application first before its website. Kasi in Southeast Asia, average usage of mobile internet is um. High um is the highest like for ninety percent of its population, people are accessing their internet through their mobile phone. So that's why um they see the potential talaga in in mobile phone. And right now, kasi it's correct naman, di ba? We do everything sa mobile phone, like especially now that everything's online. Ni iba even online classes sa phone ginagawa. And then um it made them easier as well, kasi they are the sister company of Garena, so they were able to produce a uh, mobile application that's very friendly to the sellers and also to the users. Para may one platform that can connect them. And then the cost the um company also saw the potential na maging target market nila yung young users, kasi young users um we grew up uh so I include myself as young as well. So we grew up na Um, we are using technology for communication, um, collaboration, and as well as entertainment. So that's why um, um, kinapture talaga nila yung mga young users as one of their target market. And then next, as we all know, Lazada is a direct competitor of Shopee, which was launched last 2011. So as you can see, there's really a gap because Shopee was launched um was launched 2011 lang. But being late in the industry was not really a disadvantage for them because they were able to observe and study the market. Ko ano ba talaga yung mga trends and yung mga malle na nagagawa ng ibang competitor. So at least ma apply nila ko yung like observation nila in the market. Then I also included SM because SM launches their online platform last 20. 2014, but they don't see um like the they don't see the potential to push. Because during that time when we need something really go out, they eh, really go sa SM. Because sabi nga nila they've got it all for you. So dun talaga natin lahat ni Bile. But now when we need something, we check kung meron sa Shopee, de ba? Am I right? Like even me, like even my shampoo, tape measure, ball pen, notebook, as in like tumbler, everything sa Shopee ko na din na Bile. And then um. So since Shopee launches in seven different markets at the same time, it's um how did they made it nga by knowing that in those seven different markets there's really different culture, language, and all. So here in the Philippines, um they launches and Curtis as their first local brand ambassador last 2018. So kasabay na ni launch um si Anne Curtis is their first ever um commercial which is yung sa Shopee PPP, like the Baby Shark song. So I know you're all familiar with that as well. So yun yung first commercial um with Anne Curtis since she's the first local brand ambassador. Then other local brand ambassador is also Sarah Heronimo, Jose Marie Chan, Manny Pacquiao, Chris Aquino, and then Willie Revilla, me, um, um, Alex Gonzaga, and as well as um Kim Chu. So um one way also of their localization is that um like doing a mascot. So I don't know if you're all familiar. So this Thailand we have. They uh, Shopee also uses Starshare as one of their uh I mean Shopee Philippines also uses Starshare as their mascot. So we have Pixie, uh, Pixie and Pat. So during the Independence Day, ayan, as you can see, nakabaro uh what this Barot Saya and then bang um barichers. And then also one way of their localization is their social media content. So I gather some um Instagram posts here. So um. As we all, as you can see, sobrang casual the way they approach yung mga yung market nila. So parang sam parang isipin mo yung mga barkada mula na nagshare ng meme. So for example, here my shop is sorry. I don't know if you're familiar with Four Sisters and a Wedding. So si Tony Gonzaga played a uh, steady. So meron don line parang ma sorry ma. So ginamit nila here parang sa nagtext yung mom yung mama niya sabi niya may shop pika na naman. And then sabi nung um nung girl sabi niya ma sorry ma. So Relatable siya kasi nga 
sometimes our parents nagagalit na sila kasi receive sila ng receive ng item ko ano-ano binibili natin sa Shopee. Minsan, kakonsyaba na natin yung rider. Kuya, wag muna kasi nandito yung nanay ko, magagalit, ganyan. So, meron din dito, get in Gastadora, we're going online shopping. So, as we all know, Gastadora is like um someone who spends a lot. So, ayun. And then, we also have here, Bayanihan. So, last December kasi one of the biggest typhoon um hit, uh, um hit like, Visayas area, like Cebu, Siargao, um, Negros, Leyte, and grabe yung nangyari. So, nagkaroon ng fundraising using the Shopee, uh, the, using Shopee. So, we have the Bayanihan movement. And, yeah, if you'll check our social media, you can see talaga na um, like sobrang localized the way they meron 3.8 million followers. Then dito sa app na to, you can see yung mga Shopee employees na nag-order sila ng mga Shopee items and then tatry nila and then tatry din nila tayo ibudol. So ayun, minsan may mga voucher din dyan na nakakatuwa yung mga content nila. Like sobrang creative nila knowing that they do that for work talaga. So yeah, sobrang entertaining. And then we also have um Instagram with 755k followers and then we also have Facebook page with 26 million followers. So Shopee also see the potential and the demand for um engagement and enter sa time zone, world of fun, Tom's world, meron din mga bingo, ganyan. Then sometimes you watch movies then so, nakita ni Shopee yung potential. So, sa Shopee app, you can also play games. So, you can check dun sa homepage. You can see meron dong Shopee prizes. And then with Shopee prizes, um, you can play Shopee Candy, Shopee Bubbles, Spin and Win, Shopee Farm. So, Shopee Farm, medyo hawig siya sa farm bill. I don't know if you're all familiar. But with farm bill, kasi diba didiligan mo yung halaman. Tapos sa harvest mo siya, you'll earn money or coins. So, ganun din with... Uh, Farm. And then we also have Shopee Feed. So Shopee is parang um, IG. So may feed ka. You can like, comment the post as well. And then we also have Shopee Live. So with Shopee Live, you can watch some, you can watch people na nagla-live lang. Meron namang nagla-live selling. So um, with Facebook Live selling kasi according to my siblings who watches a lot and mine ng mine, um, minsan daw, hindi mo alam na sa'yo napunta or minsan ikaw yung nauna pero hindi ko yung nauna na sa seller. So, medyo magulo. Unlike with Shopee daw, it's more organized according to them. And then, Shopee also localized approach for entertainment in each target market. So, based on local consumption front TV at. So, hindi sila mag-sense with their video. May UV, LP, and WIN. So, have seg um, segments sa Itbulaga kasama. Before, Min and Alden endorses Lazada. So, um last 2019, Shopee also launches Shopee Pay. Kasi with these days, also see the potential digital payment. So, with Shopee Pay, you can easily pay your Shopee purchase cash in bank transfer and keep your balance all in one like do online shopping play games watch um live and then now you have your e-wallet just in one application so yung mga i know some people mga ano, sensitive sa memory ng phone nila deletes a lot kasi bumabagal so ito like sobrang friendly up na lang So here are the advantage of using Shopee Pay. Um, you can purchase load, take a promo. Like right now, um, if you'll pay, if you'll buy load using your Shopee Pay, it's ten percent off. So you binibili ko load na fifty pesos. Um, fifty pesos, forty five ko na lang na bibili. And then if ever um big campaign, so big campaign is yung double double. So three three four four um payday sale ganyan. Um. Almost fifty percent off na so sobrang win win talaga kasi sure tipid tayo especially sa mga students na walang allowance kasi sabi ng magulang online class and then we also have seamless bills payment so eto you can ask your parents na cash in yung pambayad Cash back. 
standard cash box, uh, uh, researches yung cell gate, so easy trip and uh, Hello, sorry, can you guys hear me? We can hear you po, pero uh, medyo lag po. Oh, sorry. Now, medyo stable na ba? I'm so sorry. Yes. Stable na. Okay, sure. So, um, wait, view. Okay, I'm so sorry. So, we, you can also, like, um, so aside from bills payment, you can also use it to um to pay sa mga different merchants. So, 'di ba, in different stores makikita natin may mga meron na doon Shopee Pay, GCash ganyan. So, same on how you use GCash. So, just scan your QR then makakabayad na din kayo. So, madami din kaming different merchants. So, we have Coffee Bean, um Pure Gold, Potato Corner, Kanto Freestyle and then you can also um refill your gas sa sea oil or refill yeah. So, minsan may coins cash back pa. So, depende talaga sa sa mga promotion. And then you can also, sobrang dali lang mag-cash in kasi pwede nyo siya i-connect sa mga ba online banks, pwede din sa convenience store, you can also cash in through Gcash. And then you can also send money to your friends and you can also do um, bank transfer to your, like, to your bank. So with all these marketing efforts, platforms, and can we say na shop is successful talaga? 5 million items were sold in the first 99 minutes and 60 million vouchers claimed in the first 2 hours of September 9. 24 million Shopee live hours um, watch and also 70 year uplift for new seller and also 440 million shakes on Shopee Shake with Jackie Chan and 4.5 billion games on Shopee prices. So, um, as you can see here, 45, uh, 45 million like, it's a lot. And then, if you can see here, 60 million vouchers claim for the first two hours. So, just a tip, not just an employee, but also a user. Mas madaming voucher during 12 midnight to 1.59 a.m. So, ayun, when shopping, during those times, mas madaming free shipping. Based on my experience. And then, also, for 11.11, big Christmas sale. So, over 2 billion items sold across 11.11. So, with this, um, siguro dami nang nag-hoard ng mga Christmas gift. Ako din, during that time, kasi ayoko nung last minute na hindi ko alam kung na-ship na yung item, magpapas ko na wala pa akong pang-regalo. And then also during the 12-12, 40 times more orders on Shopee Mall. So Shopee Mall, um, it guarantees you um, and kayo to buy sa channel. You can um, shop. Shopee also enhance their cost from first to track deliveries and also handle in-app marketers sa different um, social media nila. Sellers, uh, meron din in-offer kasi si Shopee na marketing campaign for them. So, nasa sa'yo na yun as a seller if you'll join or um, you'll have your own promotion. And then Shopee has also Seller University wherein sellers can learn and level up different essential skills ranging from like digital marketing, logistics, and other ways on how to improve your business. But then how? So um, I'll share this like not as an employee but um, based on experience. So Yes, if you want to be a seller, we can search naman online how to be a Shopee seller. Then, mapupuntahan na sa Shopee Seller Center up and then tuturo nila how. But then, paano masisimulan? Like, what are you going to sell? Like, others will think Shopee is saturated because everything's in there na. Like, mabibili mo na doon, ang daming seller, so baka di ka na mapansin. So, I guess, um, like, there are really different ways on how. Kasi, um, like, for sure, meron pang, um, like, ad, like other buyers are still looking for something else. Kasi, till now, dumadami yung sellers. So, uh, um, I, I came across this, um, sell the solution, not the product. So, um, most people search for solution to their problems, not products. Diba when we buy something, we buy it because we need it. Kasi, like, it's a waste of money if we buy it because we just want it, diba? So, for example, Dyson Airwrap. I don't know if you're, um, girls, I know somehow you're familiar with this. We see this on TikTok. Lahat, almost, lahat nag-rave about this. Yung mga meron, syempre, it's kind of price. It's almost 30,000. Pero why do people buy it, even though it's expensive? Kasi they sell the product. That's something that we need that can solve our problems as girls. So, for example, as girls, especially yung mga thick hair, ang hirap magpatuyo ng buhok and then you'll style it pa. So, like, 
ang hassle talaga and then your hair will get damaged kasi yung ginagamit natin na, na pang like the blow dryer and yung pang style is mainit na makakadamage ng hair. But with this, it's almost 30,000. Why are we going to get this? And dami namang cheap. Like for 200 pesos, we can get a hair iron or a blow dryer sa Shopee. But then they sell it as something that we need because it won't damage our hair and it will help us to style and like dry our hair faster because it uses air and not heat. So the way they sell it is they really um, sell the solution, not just the product. So I guess it's, for me, it's one of the best marketing strategies. Yun nga, um, like people buy something because they need it. Na. I want to show um, you like, like, but but should be ng professor. Like, oh my god, it's just me, ah, na parang, um, parang, medyo common sense naman, bakit <laughs> ituturo pala. So, it's, for me, it's one of the backbone of our small business. So, um, I'll share my experience with you on how we started this small business that we didn't knew um, will grow. Though it's not that big pa naman, it's very, very small business, but we didn't know now we'll sell a lot kasi we just started with 50 stocks and then with puhunan less than 5,000 pesos, but now we sold more than 5,000 pesos through Shopee. So this is the brand called Boobies. So it started. So the oh, so okay, let's talk about first the logo. So from its name itself, from from its name, from its name, you know na it's about boobs. So I'm sorry guys if um it's like others might be sensitive but I'm open naman to talk about this. So it's a, it's about our boobs. So um I asked my friend to help me with the like with the logo. So she presented the logos and then pumili kami ng sister ko since my sister is my um, business partner. So let's start with the product. So our problem during that time is that others, other brands that sell nipple tape is really expensive, like 349, 399, almost 500 pesos, which I'm not willing to buy just for a pair of nipple tape. So... So that's my problem. That's why I need something. I need a solution for that. I'm not saying that nagbisnes ako dahil may problema ako. Pero like, if we'll um use this line, like sell the solution, not the product. So that's the problem I na naisip ko during that time. Merong mura sa Shopee worth thirty pesos. Pero like halatang pinatong mo siya, and it's not appealing to our eyes. So I so naisip so no una para okay I won't buy na lang, I'll use whatever I want. Yan lang pala yung price niya at the back of my mind. There's an opportunity for this because a lot of people are looking for this online. So yun yung pumasok sa isip ko. And then I asked my sister to help me. Sabi niya, ah, oh, ano lang yan? Um, kalat lang yan. Um, it will take your time. Parang, parang hindi niya nakikita yung opportunity because she's not really that business-minded. And then I offer her, like, present, um, sinabi ko na, oh, makikita to kasi yung opportunity like yung, yung other brands nga sinasell nila ng ganito ganyan. so na-convince ko siya we started with 50 pieces lang and then ayun so for me if you want to start a business um like madaming way if you really want to and like also of course hindi naman pwede nakita ko lang yung bebenta ko for us kasi one of our advantage is that we're part of the target market so like we know how we'll market it kasi we know now how like why we need it how to use it so and we're using it kaya for us um I guess that's one of also of our advantage of our advantage so um just for others who really want to start I, I um I know that some of you are aspiring entrepreneurship there are a lot of online websites or Facebook groups that you can check to look for suppliers so the famous one will be Alibaba where in you really get to buy for wholesale but paano naman if wala kang puhunan na malaki so there's also AliExpress where in they sell in retail also with Shopee actually there are a lot of um unbranded stuff in Shopee that you can get and then just rebrand it so yeah that's um one of the tips that I can give to those who want to start talaga and then next is pricing so with pricing kasi um somehow it's really critical kasi for others kasi ang daming expenses and then ang laki na nung parang selling price nila. So with this, I asked my sister first, sabi ko, so how much are you willing to pay if you're one of my customer? So sabi niya, I'm willing to pay not more than 200 pesos. Sabi ko, okay, sige, let's put 199, 199, and then let's compute it first kung um if pasok sa expenses. Kasi, ano, I want to, you like, I want her thoughts then kasi nga, 
she's a student and one of our naisip kong target market are students kasi feeling ko um like sila yung gusto na nagtitipid talaga ganon and um like sa Shopee kasi diba that's we, we always look for the cheapest or yung pinakamurang alternative so sabi ko if this third year student wants um a nipple tape worth 99 let's try so we computed and and layo nung markup and layo nung expenses dun sa 199 like we have um like, like malaki yung markup namin so i thought of first babaan yung price then i realized of course there are a lot of um unforeseen expenses and um i need to make room for promotion as well so we came up with 199 pesos so when um pricing always also check your competitor so kami ang baba namin be um compare sa um competitor namin so our competitors nga kasi as i've mentioned earlier have 349 99 so i guess for us that's one of our usp or unique selling proposition and then next is promotion so at first hindi, um actually hindi namin napag-usapan kagad kung paano namin siya ipopromote ang naisip ko lang nun is instagram kasi during that time even though i'm working now with shopee um Yung work ko kasi is under the digital business, like the load and deals, what I've discussed earlier. So I don't know how it works pa sa other department during that time kasi bago pa lang ako sa Shopee. So my sister told me na parang um, there are a lot of nagbubudo sa Shopee. Sabi ko, ay sa TikTok. Sabi ko, ha, paano yun? Everyone, everyone dances lang sa TikTok. And then they decided to put a, like, created an account for boobies.ph. And then, and dami, like, as you can see here, we have six. 16k followers na and then 2.7 million views. Sabi ko, ha? Like, ganun pala yung power ng TikTok. So, sobrang, like, feeling ko ang tita ho kasi hindi ko alam na, na TikTok works that way before. As in, lately lang ako nag-TikTok. And then, ayun, ang dami nang nabudo, ang dami na naming nabudo sa TikTok kasi in our TikTok account, um, so, mostly nga of our target, target market are students and every, all, almost everyone is in TikTok as well. So, in our TikTok account, we show them how to use the nipple tape, it's waterproof, and then, um, after we launched kasi boobies, I went to Shargao. So, nag-surf ako with the boobies and then I took photos sa nagsasurf while wearing this and hindi talaga siya natatanggal so it's also one way of promoting and then as you can see here and dami naming na ship last um, tutu so ayun we, we didn't expect na it will grow that much and then at first um like na, like nagulat ako sabi ko ba't ang daming bumibili pero we don't have followers sa IG but then my sister is really contented contented now with the number with the numbers of orders that we receive from time to time and we already sold almost 5,000 um nipple tapes and then as also we also uh, and then of course we also have um different promotions of course we buy the tint and the 30th now please so at first i thought we'll just sell this um in instagram and then my sister told me na sa, sa shopee na lang so during this time i worked na sa shopee but i don't know pa about the sellers sabi ko ha madali lang ba yun so like, I'm so lucky na my sister is also aware and lagi na sa social media. Sabi niya, yeah, actually sa TikTok nga, kinikwento nila paano magiging seller, ganun. So with this, ayun, and um for, so every time yung magme-message siya sa IG or sa TikTok, how to purchase or comment, we'll just send them our Shopee link. And then yun, dun na, people will buy na. And ayan, meron na kaming preferred tag. So preferred tag kasi when, when people like purchase a lot from the, that store or item. So meron na kaming preferred logo as a seller. And then another is our Instagram. So as you can see here, the first photo medyo feed goes, the second one sucks lang. Kasi at first, um, yung sister ko lang yung nag-handle ng social media namin. More on operations kasi siya, parang ako lang yung nag-invest ganun since they, uh, she uses my money, uh, we uses my money as in us or capital. So, ayan, sobrang walang branding kasi kung anong font na lang magamit niya, ganyan, and then kung ano lang kaya niya sa Canva. And then I told her, let's hire an intern na lang, then let's give her allowance or pay her, and then we'll just ask for one posting a week. So, ayan, okay naman. She's very galing. As in, nagugulat ako sa mga binibigay niyang graphics sa amin. So, soon, siguro, siguro if we sell more, um, we'll give her a higher allowance kasi sobrang deserve niya kasi it's so nice. So, next is Facebook. So, if you can see, we have TikTok, we have Shopee, we have IG, but we don't have Facebook because um one so since I don't handle the operations, my sister told me just it's better not to have Facebook um than to have an inactive facebook page which is true because she's also busy as a student but if you'll ask me like for example um if you have different 
um, items to sell and your target market is in Facebook, it's really one of the best platform as well because there, um, so, uh, Facebook is the biggest social media and there are a lot of users and there are a lot of different ways on how to promote your um, items sa Facebook. So one way is through CPA. So what is CPAS? So CPAS is an advertising solution created by Facebook allowing brands and retailers to create ads together. So sasabihin mo, ah, Facebook ads lang pala yan. So, um, or Facebook boosting. No, it's... um. Well, this is um, a kind of Facebook ads, but it's not Facebook boosting because Facebook boosting is very limited. With Facebook ads, kasi you can target the right market that you want. And with Facebook ads, um, by using the Facebook Business Manager, um, there are um, different metrics that you can use. So for example, by using Facebook ads, um, makikita mo kung ilan yung nag-add to cart, kung ilan yung nag-check out. And then with that, um, pwede kang gumawa ng ads na ang makakakita lang is yung nag-add to cart. So di ba minsan parang nakikripihan na tayo? Bakit... Bakit lumalabas sa ads ko kung ano yung um inad to cart ko? Minumulto ba ako or may nakakarinig ba kung ano yung may nakakakita or nakakarinig ba ng ginagawa ko? Of course, someone can see it like kung paano lumalabas yung ads, yung algorithm like that. Pero it's also through Facebook ads on how they retarget. So, um this is also good to learn but it's a very long topic so I won't dwell on this. There are a lot of um online courses that you can learn for free but you can also pay someone to coach you. But I guarantee this is really um, one of the best way to use a business nyo for marketing. Um, though for us, kasi right now with boobies.ph, we're contented na since everyone's busy then. Like for me, I work and then my sister is finishing her thesis. So we don't um, do that much muna. Parang whatever na lang muna yung bumili or like just our usual Instagram and TikTok poses. So you can also, um, a lot of um, businesses are also looking for people that do Facebook ads. So it's called Facebook media buying. So um, it's also a great way to earn money, especially yung iba students. So, yeah. Of course, when starting a business, hindi naman siya ganun kadali. Kasi, syempre, capital, then we need money. Uh, um, kahit small yun, kailangan natin pa ikutin. And then, um, other people will say, kikita ba yan? Sinasayang mo lang. Pero mo, wala naman bibili. Um, we encounter before our dad. Parang, ano na naman yan? Kalat lang yan. Ganyan. Wala naman bibili niya. Syempre, he, he's not part of our target market. Kasi he's a guy. He's older. He, he can't understand. But now, um, pagpupunta dito si Kuya JNT and then he'll pick up hundreds of packages. Um, he's proud. As in, siya pa'y nakabantay to check kung tama yung ginagawa ni Kuya JNT and then papalibre siya. Or minsan bibilangin niya, oh, siguro yung kita nyo dyan, ganito na. So, he computes. So, ayun, nakakatawa din naman. And, um, hindi din talaga namin um, in-expect na we'll grow. Pero, of course, we're a small business pa din. Pero, um, like, wala lang, nakakatawa. Kasi it started just parang our own problem na gusto namin ng murang nipple tape but now um, there are a lot of people buying. So, um, I know the first step will always be the hardest. Um, I know all of you may mga top of mind to going business in the future but even the greatest was once a beginner so don't be afraid to take the first step. Kasi for me, like, Di ba nga yung iba gusto mag-exercise sa morning pero hindi na sisimulan. Pero sometimes, magbihis ka lang pang exercise para, oh, nakabihis na ako, start na, like exercise na. So, like, just always, um like, um little steps just start with little steps kasi for sure you're for sure you'll get there then so if you're looking for a sign either to start a business check out something this is it so i hope in the future so um me then kasi i'm an aspiring like i want to be a successful entrepreneur so hopefully in the future we'll see each other um all successful so yeah that's it thank you very much for listening all right, so thank you so much, Miss Patricia, for that informal and insightful talk. And as someone who is really interested in boosting my marketing skills, I could really apply the tips and lessons learned today to help me build any kind of business in the future. So I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to ask questions to know more about the topic today. So we are now opening the floor to some questions. So Eliza will be the one to, will be the one address you through the Q&A portion. So please send your questions through the live chat box there on YouTube. So hi, Eliza. Hi, everyone. I'm also a community associate of Ace Commerce, and I will be the host for today's Q&A. So just a reminder, please send your questions through the chat box, the live chat box, because I know you guys have a lot in mind, and I know that the topic today will help you a lot. So please do not be shy to do so. So while waiting for some questions to come in, I'm actually inter interested in knowing 
How does Shopee brainstorm their marketing strategies apart from targeting and appealing to the young audience, as you've said earlier? Sorry, can you repeat the question? It's a bit um, choppy. Oh, sorry. Um, how does Shopee brainstorm their marketing strategies apart from targeting and appealing to the young audience, as you've said earlier? Okay, so um, with Shopee, of course, um, like there are the right persons that do that strategize. So me as a senior marketing, um, there are a lot of senior marketing with Shopee, but also one thing that we do is like um Nike sub like do trendy stuff. Like as you can see with our social media posting, um we do post like um what's really happening or like very trendy things. So for example, we um like the Valentine's postings, and then we also have like um what do you call this? Um like what event is happening. So before we also have the Chinese New Year. So yeah, um, we also like do like what are the trendy things happening around. Okay, thank you. Step. Okay, thank you. So someone from the uh, live chat. I hope is... oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It was top in the end, but it and you answered them on the question. Thank you. So someone from the live chat is asking how to create effective ads on Shopee. Hello, sorry. Oh, sorry. earlier. So someone from the live chat is asking uh, how to create effective ads on Shopee. Um, how to create... Okay, I'll answer this not as a Shopee employee because mm -hmm. I don't handle ads naman. But I have experience with Facebook media buying. So um, as a seller, you can use um, the Shopee Seller Center app where in, uh, meron dun mga campaign or if gusto mo ma-feature kanila. But of course, it will deduct from your um, profit. But as um, by using Facebook, you can use SIPA. So if you have a Facebook page for your business, you can um, use the business manager to create SIPAs. So um, it's kind of super long to discuss how to do that. But you can always Google Facebook ads SIPAs. So and daming steps done on how to create one. And it's very, really easy, especially for those students who are into digital marketing. Um, you can use that, use this, use that as well. Of course, um, you need to spend lang, lang a little. But you can see the results kasi like ilan ba talagi nag add to cart, nag visit ng store mo, or ilan yun nag check out um, by using like um, for example, how effective the Facebook ad is through, um, like, para makabenta. So, yeah. Okay, so thank you for that. Um, someone again in the live chat is asking, can you summarize the marketing strategy that Shopee and your local business boobies utilize? Um, okay, so it's very different because, like, syempre, Shopee marketing strategy is as a whole, as as a whole platform and then boobies were just a small business so with shopee i mentioned earlier naman so we have different engagement platforms and then we utilizes our social media to reach out to our target users and then we also um we have different tv segments para naman dun sa other people so diba minsan yung matatanda di naman sila marunong mag shopee pero aware sila sa shopee because they watch as wawa win or it bulaga and then with boobies naman kasi um, I guess, I don't want to say swerte, pero kasi not everything trends naman sa TikTok, diba? But na trend kami, like we have million of views. So I guess that's one. And then also, my sister will always tell me, kasi um, sometimes I also handle the business when she's very busy. Sabi niya, oh, be nice dun sa mga nag-chat-chat. Pag nag-inquire sila, be patient. Kasi sometimes yung question nila, common sense na lang, pero like, magbasa ka, don't ask how much. Or like, sabi niya, be nice, tell her the price even though naka-display na dyan, kahit tinatanong how much. Or like, um, pag na, bago i-deliver yung item namin, pinipicture na namin siya um, para makita nila na tama or correct yung um, di-deliver. And then after nun, meron pang after care service na, oh, did you like the item? Ganyan. So, um, like, we take her talaga. Um, so, so, syempre, our main will be TikTok talaga for the marketing strategy. But next is how we take care of our customers as well. All right, thank you. So another one from the chat is asking, 
uh, can we sell our products through the through Shopee even though my account was not verified yet? Actually, um, your personal account is different from your seller account. So you'll download a different application to sell. So iba yung gamit niya na application. So iba yung personal... Actually, sorry. Um, iba yung personal account mo dun sa seller account. And, excuse me, Um, you can like... Ano ba? Um, you can actually okay lang kahit hindi verify kasi different account ka as a seller. So yeah, that's it. Okay, so another one is asking, uh, I have a skill in creating ads, ads ad, or advertisements. Where can I message you and show some of my work? Thank you. Oh, um, I'm not very expert with ads, but I guess sige. Um, you can message me on Instagram or Facebook. Just look Tracy De La Cruz or Tracy MDC. All right, thanks. So the next after that is, I just want to ask, ano pong benefits or the things na na-enjoy nyo as the senior marketing analyst in Shopee? Um, actually, as an employee, um, we don't have that much special voucher. Though we have one every month or every big promotion. So we have this um shop um discount uh voucher silang may voucher silang binibigay. Basta Shopee pay yung gamit namin. And then um what else? They have um employee package like for example 11 12 12 so may bibigay sila sa aming mga merch. So may na kong tumbler, um jacket, um pillow and then um we also have allowances na nakukuha sa Shopee Pay. What else? I guess you on. Sabi kasi I never experienced kasi to work um on site kasi during no pre pandemic I'm not working with Shopee pa. Before daw in Shopee office it's free ice cream and free rice and then sometimes during event you can drink while working so hindi ko pa yun experience. <laughs> so. Alright, thank you. So the next one, can you give us some tips that we need to know when starting a business in Shopee? Um. Starting a business with Shopee. So, I guess, um, like, you need to expect na, of course, Shopee will deduct um, something from using their platform. I mean, that's normal, I guess. Kasi, for example, when you rent a space in SM, you need to pay. So, it's just the same thing, but you're using an online platform. And then, there are um, a lot of, not a lot, but on our end, as a seller, parang gusto namin maging special yung package. So, nagkakaroon ng other expenses. So, for example, yung mga, what do you call that? Yung mga, punit-punit na papel na nilalagay mo sa box para hindi maalog yung box and then yung mga card na piprint mo na thank you for ordering. So, yun yung mga small expenses na um, hindi namin in-expect when starting sa Shopee. So, I guess that's one um, thing na dapat na um, i-take note when starting. Like, hindi naman it's just the item. Siyempre, of course, we want to, uh, we want the the customer to experience the opening of package. Kasi now, di ba, when unboxing, binibidyohan, popost mo sa Instagram, sa TikTok. So, yun din yung gusto namin makita, uh, ma-experience ng mga customer namin. And then, ayun, I guess, now, the, na if yung target market is mga students or yung mga nasa TikTok, um, it's good to use TikTok. I'm not a TikTok expert, ha? Pero for me, kasi, who someone, someone na, two hours a day nagsascroll sa TikTok, I guess it's one platform na super nice gamitin. So, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, the next question is, what is the most effective strategy that you use to attract your target market? Um, I guess it's TikTok, TikTok again. Like, dun kasi kami nag-click eh. So, I, like, w- sorry, wala mo bigyan na experience, na experience, na based dun sa ganun na experience. Pero, that's how, kung paano dumami yung seller namin. And I guess, sabi nga nung kapatid ko, kung bakit umuulit yung mga customer namin is because, um like, we message them before we ship. And then, pag may concern sila, we reply right away. Kasi, isa yun sa iniingatan ng sister ko is yung seller rating or response um rating namin sa shop. Kasi parang mag-late ka lang ng reply, bababa yung rating mo. So, isa yun sa inaalaga. At saka, um, my sisters kasi, since students sila, limited yung budget. Whenever they purchase something, talaga tinitignan nila yung rating. So, so, for them, minsan pag mababa yung rating ng seller sa chat response, ayaw nila bumili. Kasi pag daw nagka-problem, baka di ka daw replyan. So, I guess that's one thing as well. Yeah, okay. That's really good to know since, I, since I've, uh, I've heard about it. Okay, so 
the next question is, when is the right time po to say na I deserve this para, maba- para mabawasan na ang mga naka-add to cart ko sa Shopee? Oh my God, we have the same problem. <laughs> Pero for me, ano, paano ba? Kasi, like, I don't wanna say here na after kami magawang something kasi hindi ko ginawang ginagawa yun. I guess for me, kasi sometimes even when we deserve it, then we don't have money. Ang hirap din naman talaga. So I guess um just buy something when you have extra money. Like yung spare talaga. Kasi for me naman, we should always do our best not just because we want something from Shopee or somewhere else, di ba? Pero for me, the best practical way is if we really need it and we have the extra money talaga. Ayun. Okay, thank you. So, next one is a Shopee seller naman. And she's asking, what advice can you give on how I can effectively market my products in Shopee. Um, so in Shopee, I get um you can check the Shopee seller ko ano yung mga campaigns na you can join. But I um as I mentioned earlier, when you join the campaign, of course, a Shopee will deduct something from your profit because you're using their platform. But um others will be I guess we can, I mean, I repeat, we can promote like sharing our stories sa IG, like from time to time mag-share ng stories para yung algorithm mo lagi ka din lalabas. And then um, you can also, if you have extra money, you can um, give sa mga influencers like malakas makabudol, for example, Ray Hermar, Tony Sia. As long as the product is like um, same dun sa niche nila. So for example, lifestyle vloggers sila. So swerte if magustuhan yung item mo, then they'll promote it kasi for sure it will became sold out somehow, if nag-click, and then pwede mo din sila ipost sa TikTok or bigay mo doon sa mga nambubudo sa TikTok. Pero of course, syempre, um, mababawasan yung stocks mo, you need to gastos for the shipping. Pero I guess, yun, investment din. And then if you have other money naman, I mean, if you have the skills naman to do the Facebook ads and you have extra money, you can also do that as well. Okay, thank you. So, um, someone in the chat is interested, I think, in your shop in Boobies PH. So they're asking, are you planning to build a brick and mortar shop since your business is growing? Um, that I'm not sure. Though we have plans of innovating different um products, we're looking for manufacturers, but it will be big money kasi since we need to um buy wholesale. So right now, physical store is not really our priority because um my sister is a psychology student, so hindi siya naglilin towards to become entrepreneur, full-time entrepreneur in the future. So I guess we don't have plans pa for that so so far. Okay, thank you. So next one is, what are the steps that you think really made your business successful? So I guess because it's not a one-man show, one-woman show. So like, for example, my sister, um, she's not um she's not into business talaga like costing lang di niya alam paano pa pressuhan ganyan so i help her and then one we're four girls kasi so i guess um even though by paper it's just under the name of my sister and then i invested like ako yung sa puhunan my other sister is into tiktok so siya yung tumutulong gumawa ng content and then my other sister helps in packing so for me it's the tulong-tulong talaga that helps our business successful and then if for example alis yung sister ko and then dadating in JNT, the other sister will give. Or sometimes, if Alice coming for, my dad will wait for the JNT rider to pick up. So, tulong-tulong then, And of course, so syempre, with the profit, we share also. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. So, um, the next one, it's still related to, to Boobies PH. Uh, how do you optimize your searching of your product so it is more accessible or visible to people? Is there any tools you use to boost your product visibility in Shopee? Um, so with that, um, we don't boost with Shopee. Um, I'm not sure if merong ganong option then with the Shopee seller setter kasi my sister uses the app kasi as an employee, it will be a conflict of interest. So um, kami kasi kaya tumaas yung ranking namin when you search for nipple tape kasi madami nang sold. Like we have the preferred badge, badge na if you check. So I guess that's it. Pero um, yeah, I'm not sure. Eh. I'm so sorry about that. I don't want to say something I'm not sure. Okay, thank you. So the last question, um, they're asking, can I ask how you relate Shopee with e-commerce service for better customer satisfaction? Um, so I guess um, we lease, um, like, 
we have uh, with Shopee because we have this 24 hours chat box so that um whenever the customers have um reclamo we can you can chat there na man 24/7 because um I I heard that um with other competitors because they don't have the 24 hours customer service um um feature so with Shopee there's a 24 hours feature uh customer um like the chat box not 24 hours and it's not a robot like it's a real person that will reply to you and then will tag it to the correct employee so i have experience with this because i also handle customer service like for example you'll chat there and then the customer service will take note of your problem and then escalate niya sa akin so that's how we improve our customer service so before talaga um i experienced and dami naming um and dami naming customer service complaints so we really work double time para lang masagot lahat yon so that the employees won't um like won't won't get gallet and then he didn't buy my orders namin. Kasi syempre, if we won't focus on customer, sat, um, customer service namin, baka bumaba yung orders namin. So talagang we work double time para lang ma-finish namin lahat ng complaints and then para tumaas pa ulit yung orders. Um, mas tumaas pa yung orders namin. So, yeah. Alright, that's all the questions for today. Thank you so much for asking, guys. And thank you so much for answering, Miss Patricia. I'll give the floor back to Patrice. All right, so thank you so much, Eliza, and thank you so much, Miss Patricia, for answering the questions and for the insightful and informative talk you have shared with me and everyone in this Zoom room. So with that, we want to award this certificate of appreciation to you for being our speaker for today. So, wait. All right, so Ace Commerce Philippines award this certificate of appreciation to Miss Patricia de la Cruz for imparting her valuable insight and inspiration at the Ace Commerce webinar entitled E-Commerce Marketing, a pick on a how it's done in Shopee. Given on this day, February 18, 2022, Manila, Philippines, signed by France, CEO and founder of Asia Commerce. So thank you once again, Miss Patricia, for being such an inspiration to me and the people of today's event. And we really appreciate you allotting time for us. So before you go, is there anything else you want to promote? or where can our audience reach you? Okay, so for everyone who wants to like reach me, so dun sa kanina sa Facebook ads and you have and if you have any other question, so you can message me on Facebook. So it's Tracy De La Cruz or you, or you can search at Tracy MDC. So that's my um, IG handle as well. And then you can also reach out to me in LinkedIn. It's Patricia De La Cruz MBA. So I use my graduation photo that I've shown earlier. So um, you can see naman there na some Patricia De La Cruz MBA from Shopee. So yeah, you can message me through LinkedIn as well. So yun lang. And good luck to everyone, like especially those students trying to finish their college at home so good luck and hopefully we'll get to work next time all right so thank you so much once again and thank you so much everyone for joining our event and i hope you all learned a lot today so before i let you go guys once again i want to invite you to our upcoming paid workshop with mr david ramos the ceo and founder of surge digital media consulting corp this march 12 saturday from 9 30 a.m to 1 p.m so this workshop is about a comprehensive and in-depth discussion on how to build a business from the ground up. So Build Your Own Business is a workshop for aspiring and startup entrepreneurs who want to gain a deeper understanding of how businesses work in today's ecosystem. So this workshop inclusions include the certificate of completion, business plan template, speaker slide deck, and access to the full recording of the, of the workshop. So the early bird rate is 500 pesos for tickets purchased between February 11 to February 25, while the regular price is 750 pesos. So avail it now, guys, and take this opportunity while it's on sale. So next slide, please. So also in this workshop, you will learn to develop the mindset and personal skills of a successful entrepreneur, evaluate business potential, write a business plan, decide on a legal structure, Decide on a legal structure and register a business, identify funding sources and fund the business or business growth, assess fees and feasibility, plan strategically, manage accounting and cash flow, market and sell your services and products, and also manage human resources. So if you are interested, then here's how you can join the paid workshop.
don't miss out on learning how to be a better business owner and join our workshop especially made for entrepreneurs. So go to our website, acecommerce.org and buy tickets for our workshop. And we really hope that everyone will come, learn, and participate in this paid workshop to obtain technical knowledge on how to grow their business. So for the next announcement, of course, our weekly webinar will continue next week and we hope to see you again for our webinar entitled How to Develop a High Income Skill with Mr. Hazron Harold Tan, the founder of Millennial Trader and also a stock market consultant and analyst on February 26 at 4 p.m. So you can RSVP on our website for this event. Again, thank you and see you guys next week, Saturday, 4 p.m. So finally, for the last reminder for the participants who would want to have their e-certificates. So please don't forget to create an Ace Commerce account through our website acecommerce.org as we give announcements for future webinars where you can RSVP. So please do not forget to answer the e-certificate form that will be sent at the chat box and friendly reminder that we will strictly no longer entertain concerns about e-certificate and create e-certificate to those who failed to answer the Google form. So please avoid making errors in, in putting your emails since incorrect emails will no longer be our response. So if you want to learn more about entrepreneurship and get updated for upcoming events, please like our Facebook page. And in order to connect with fellow entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs, you can join our Telegram groups so you can network and ask advice from the community. So that's it, guys. Remember that the evaluation form will be closed at 11.59 p.m. today. So for concerns, kindly message us on our Facebook page on our on on or on our telegram channel so thank you everyone for joining our event today and we hope to see you again in our next event so thank you guys